Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be reacting to Central C, Let Go. I have only heard one Central C song before, well, technically two, but it's one official song, which is Doja. But then I also heard his uh, freestyle, was it LA Lakers, where he does the UK, US slang. Uh, those are the only two songs I've heard from him, but from those, I can already tell that he's going to be super talented and going to be one of the biggest artists from the UK, I believe, in the next couple of years because he's just he's just sort of a blend of old school and new school where he knows what gets attention online and from the younger audience, but he also has wordplay and bars that catch up with the older audience. And then that freestyle where he was breaking down our UK slang for the US audience was genius. It was just a masterstroke of opening yourself up completely to a whole new audience and getting them in tune and in touch with the music and the stuff that you're rapping about because that's the biggest holdback for Americans with the UK artists is they can't understand our accents a lot of the time so when you put in <laughs> an entire sort of freestyle breaking down everything that you're going to be talking about or referencing that they may not understand what you're saying it's just pure genius honestly there's no other way to describe it the guy is so smart and independent as well i believe so it's just it's amazing and i only hope that he continues to grow and do well but yeah let go i don't know what it's going to be about whether it's going to be emotional or whether it's going to be another sort of I don't, I don't even know how you describe his music. I, d I don't know enough of his music to know what sort of style he does. I don't know what you'd classify his sort of genre of rap as. But nevertheless, it's impressive. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Please leave a like if you enjoy. Please subscribe for more. Comment down below anything else you'd like to see from me, whether it's Central C or anyone else in the UK or US or whoever it happens to be. Just... Whoever you want to see me react to, drop it down in the comments. I'll get round to it. And without any further ado, as I say, let's go. When it's burning low, only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Interesting. <laughs> Does he always do sort of samples? Obviously, um, the Doja verse or whatever it's called. I really should know the name of that since it's so big, but I just know it's got Doja in it. Um, that was a sample of Eve and Christina Aguilera's Blow Your Mind, which is a really good song in its own right. So, But this one's another massive song and he's going to flip it into another completely different genre. So it's going to be interesting to hear that, but I just wonder whether that's what he does exclusively or whether he's done other songs with original beats. So someone let me know who knows more about his music. Okay. No words. <laughs> It's <laughs> such a home. I loved you until you tried get in my head. And that's where I lost respect. You're doing the most to get my attention, baby. I'm not impressed. Uh, I changed my bed sheets, but I still smell your flesh. I don't know how we got in this mess. I rarely get this in depth. This can't make me question love. This can't make me feel like less of a man because I'm feeling depressed and stuff. Can't believe I was willing to drop everyone and invest in us. The last time that we fought was fucked. The way you got up, got dressed and cut. Look, I thought that we could have been. Maybe I was too up to me. She, she fucked and chucked him. She left. She, oh my God. She got dicked and dashed. Jesus. I, I was right. It's more of an emotional track, which is interesting since it's different to anything I'd heard him do before. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just funny on the end of that song because it's so well known. Just for the, you said the pussy's mine. Why'd you let it go? You're such a hoe. It's, I don't know, it was just really strange. You said I pussy man, so where'd you let it go? It's such a home. I loved you until you tried getting my head, and that's where I lost respect. You're doing the most to get my attention, baby, I'm not impressed. Uh, I changed my bed sheets, but I still smell your flesh. I don't know how we got in this mess. I rarely get this in depth. 
This can't make me question love This can't make me feel like less of a man Cause I'm feeling depressed and stuff Can't believe I was willing to drop everyone and invest in us The last time that we fought was fucked The way you got up, got dressed and cut Look, I thought that we could have been Maybe I was too optimistic Tell me what you need, I provide everything Baby, you don't know what you're missing Our chemistry fought like quantum physics Physics Feeling your energy, feeling your spirit If this is the end, I need one more visit It's showing me love, but I still feel empty I need something a lot more fulfilling uh, Move out of London town, then Move to a rural village You made me delete that pick up my phone But I close my eyes to see that image Won't change my No, not the wank bank not, not the visual wank bank And it's all locked away up here in the visual wank bank <laughs> no, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, it's it's different. I'll give him that. It's just strange. It's just strange to hear him so emotional, I guess, and to hear the beat of a song that I know, like the melody at least, not the beat necessarily, but the melody of a song that I know, and then hear him talking about completely different stuff over the top of it. It's just strange. It's 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 sitting weirdly on my brain and my ears. Whenever I hear him talk about pussy or anything, it's just, I'm like, whoa, that's weird. It's not, that's not what I think of when I hear that melody, at least. But like I said at the start, he's a genius because he's got the lyrics right at the bottom of the screen. So anybody who doesn't understand his lyrics or maybe isn't as good at, you know, keeping up with the words that are said, it's amazing that they can just follow it along. So it's just, it keeps you open to such a wider audience. Honestly, it's so smart. It's, it's the Mr. Beast you know, it's the Mr. Beast idea where he does the translated videos into different channels and stuff like that. But, well, I think PewDiePie did it first where he translated all of his um, all of his videos into multiple languages, had people that spoke those languages who translated them for him. And it's just, honestly, it's genius. It's genius. Tell me what you need, I provide everything. Baby, you don't know what you're missing. Our chemistry part like quantum physics. Physics. Filling your energy. F I don't understand that. Know what you're missing. Our chemistry felt like our chemistry felt like quantum physics. I guess maybe like quantum entanglement, you could maybe link it like that. But chemistry and quantum physics are two completely separate fields of science. Like it's in the name, you know, chemistry, physics. They're they're two completely different subjects. Quantum physics, physics. Feeling your energy, feeling your spirit. If this is the end, I need one more visit. It's showing me love, but I still feel empty. I need something a lot more fulfilling. Uh, move out of London town, then move to a rural village. You made me delete that, pick up my phone, but I close my eyes to see that image. Won't chase it, my heart ain't in it, it's finished. Too far gone, can't fix it, bitch. This damage is done. When it's burning low, only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you. You know, it's a good song, though, when you don't even change the, the main hook. I called four times on a private cooler, I feel like a creep. I know there's plenty of fish in the sea, but I fuck those girls, got you in my mind. When you fuck those guys, do you wish they were me? Turn them around and I put them in doggy. I don't even fuck them in missionary. There's not. Any, any young men out there, um, if you're wanting to get a girl back, don't don't start talking about like how bad you feel when you're fucking other girls because she she is not going to care about that. She's going to stop when she hears you fucked other girls. Like it, it, that, I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's not trying to get her back. Maybe he's just talking about his situation. But you know, if if the ultimate goal is you know you're expressing your feelings to hopefully win her affections again. Don't talk about how bad you've been feeling fucking other girls and saying, when you fuck other guys, do you think it's me? Because, it, like he said, it comes across as a creep. Honestly, take it take it from someone who has come across creepy in the past. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. You fuck those guys, do you wish they were me? Turn them around and I put them in doggy. I don't even fuck them in missionary. There's no intimacy and additionally, it's obligatory when I fuck that up for... I don't even date my socks off And I don't even know why I did it As soon as I'm finished I'm getting them dropped off And what makes it worse I know that she's telling her friends That I chopped off I don't know what you're doing We're not together It's driving me mad Because I can't even stop you Typing your blank details 
Ah, I don't know, man. You're taking it to a weird place now. You're taking it to a weird place. You don't know, it's making you mad because you don't know what she's doing and you can't even stop her. Like you could if you were together. Brother, this is weird. This is weird. She's her own person at the end of the day, man. Like, man or woman, everyone's entitled to be able to do what they want. It's a free fucking world. You're not the owner of a person. I don't know what you're doing with me, not together. It's driving me mad because I can't even stop you. Tapped in your black DLs and sent you a bag of rich. That bitch unblocked me. Make it quick and you do that promptly. If you won't give me your love for free, I'll buy it. Just tell me how much it will cost me. Your new man ain't got nothing on me. Fuck your annual wage, I can make that monthly. <laughs> Alright. When it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. <laughs> Alright. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the roads when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go You said that pussy man, so why'd you let it go? <laughs> it's such a hole I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. Uh, it was a good song, but I'm not sure I agree with the end, and, uh, the end message. Um, uh, yeah, that's a weird one. Um... We've all been there, man. We've all been heartbroken and and have wanted the person back, but we know it's not to be. And I think the best thing in that instance is to work on yourself and to, to take some time and move on. That's the best thing to do because it's no good rushing into another relationship when you're either not ready to be in one or you've still got flaws with yourself that you need to work out because the relationship likely ended for some reason and either it's your fault her fault both of your faults and in that case you need to take some time and just have a bit of self-reflection and see okay why why didn't that work what am i feeling what am i wanting for my next relationship and figure things out before jumping into the next one it's you know relationships are great and it's it's nice to have someone there all the time and i think a lot of people get bogged down in like the worry of being single and they move on too quickly to the next person and they just find themselves constantly in this cycle of breaking up with people wondering why I'm why am I not finding the right person for me and it's because you're not taking the time to figure out what it is that you're actually after or what the issues are with you that are allowing you to or that are not allowing you to to get the most out of a relationship or to move past a certain point in a relationship so you know this song and others like it are uh, uh, an interesting sort of topic on thinking back on a relationship and it can help you to grow when you do that and reflect back on the good times, the bad times, you know, everything that you want with that person and now can't have and it's it's a sad one but it's a necessary part of growth in, in human life, you know, it's very rare that you find that one person the first time and it works out so... It is what it is, man, but Central, I think, he's going to be all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching this. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. Comment down below anything else you would like to see from me, as I said at the start. Till next time, see you later.